Hey, it's me. Luke. Yes. Man, get the hell out of me. Think it drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. Why is it good to see you too, kid? All right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. <clears throat> hey, someone refresh my memory on him. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. They plugged up all the holes we used when we got out. When do you think the herb will be here? Captured? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. You know, a way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We gotta plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. Nothing. Nothing. The hell you mean, nothing? Nothing. I wasn't doing anything. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. Go up and see so his minutes. So, you should probably go. <coughs> Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. What do you think get I in here. He raped her or what? I don't know. What y'all think in the chat? How'd she get pregnant with his baby? Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Did she Sorry. kill him? You're a bully. It's dark. Come again. You're, You're just a bully. Me. I wow. know it wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't, but life ain't fair most of the time. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. Wow. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. 
And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, <coughs> he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I know. I have to do everything for them. It's exhausting. Of course it is. But that's the role you're meant to play. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. <coughs> what if it's not yours? <coughs> well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Wow. Alright, yeah. Bill? You there? Yeah? I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Mm. Did Rebecca look sad? She was crying and holding her face. Oh, she was. Okay. Man, they took out Alvin like that, though. It's my ninja. He was kind of weak, though. son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Kenny! Do not speak to me like that. Don't rat out Luke. Okay, okay, sorry. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. <laughs> the PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are a few along the roof. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. 
The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. <laughs> I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, <coughs> I do it all the time. Is that that one chick? Oh. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself oh, in snow, snow there in the corner, have the walker guts so. all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. Trust this is me. nuts. No, it's me. not. It's perfect. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. What up, T-Raw? Ooh. Splinter Cell. Let me get my Splinter Cell on.
Huh. Doesn't look like he's looking this way, so. Oh, Reggie. R.I.P. Hashtag R.I.P. Reggie. Look here. Looks like we can actually open this one, so. Yep. All clear. I'm done streaming out last, y'all. I beat it already. <coughs> Splinter Clan Blacklist. into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. All right, talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. Crap. Yo, isn't that the lady from the DLC? Let me know in the chat. I feel from like what part? Because I feel like somebody said the black lady is from the thing. That's the lady but... from the DLC at the end where she tried to pick us up and take us to the camp. Remember? Oh yeah, she was like the caseworker. Yeah. Lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was trying to take us to this horrible place. Let me know in the chat who watched the D who watched or played the DLC. Why don't I just keep doing this over and over again? Can I do something else? Can't grab them? What's the issue? I don't know if I'm not doing it right, but you know what I mean? And it won't let me back up. Is there a right time I'm supposed to do it, or? What the heck? Hold it. Hold it? Hold it down. Ha! Shout out to the chat being smarter than me. Good looking out, Irv. Whew. That was easy.
What y'all think so far in the episode? Psst. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Troy Radio? Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. You little devil. Everybody stay where you are. No need to draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Thanks. Thanks. You nothing. You just miss us climbing yep. up and jumping down. Okay. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. <laughs> First what things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Hey, who's played this before? How far through are we? Like on a scale from one to five. With three being halfway through. <laughs> all right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Watch as them. Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't suspicious. Oh, let's go. She's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, City Mouse. 
Can't she cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. Won't they need my help? Well, today I need it more. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse, but Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a lead or something, like it had to be done, and that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Cause it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. I... I need to talk to Kenny. Do you now? I can understand you're uncomfortable. I won't force you to be around me if you don't want to. Go on, back out, and be with Kenny. I didn't trust her, y'all. <laughs> Hopefully I made the right choice. Y'all better hurry oh, that shit up. Scary. I hate you, you assholes. <laughs> Oh no. Babe! Hurry up. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Babe! <laughs> Luke, where is he? What is that? Back outside? Oh! I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was... You ain't supposed to be out here! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up! Well you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Captured. <laughs> I mean, I had to 